I read the actual scientific paper that you co-authored, and parts of it admittedly are very hard for me to understand. You are not saying that there's definitely alien life among us. What are you saying? We are saying that uh, this is the very first uh, interstellar object, an object that came from outside the solar system that we have seen near the Earth. And it looks nothing like the asteroids or comets that we have seen before in the solar system. It has an extreme shape. It deviated from an orbit that is shaped just by the sun's gravity. And it looks shiny and uh, quite unusual. Uh, and uh, so we say, Perhaps it was manufactured by some alien civilization. Perhaps uh, it is uh, a spaceship or a probe. We have to put that possibility on the table. Now, unfortunately, this uh, special guest that we had uh, for dinner already left our house, and it's out there in the dark street, so we can't really see it anymore. But we can look for other guests that came from that uh, foreign country and perhaps uh, study them much better in the future. From your scientific paper, considering an artificial origin, one possibility is that Oumuamua is a light sail floating in interstellar space as debris from an advanced technological equipment. What's a light sail? A light sail is simply a, a sail, just like the sail we find uh, on a sailboat, but it's being pushed by light rather than by uh, the wind. Uh, and when light bounces off an object, it gives it a push. And we are currently developing this technology uh, for exploration of space. In principle, you don't carry the fuel with you, and so you can reach very high speeds with that kind of a technology. Uh, and it's quite possible that a mature civilization that uh, had many more years to develop technology uh, uses that uh, technology. Uh, we ourselves sent out uh, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 from outside the solar system, uh, they will not be functional after a while, uh, but they would still constitute uh, space debris. And it's quite possible that there are lots of uh, objects out there, technological relics from other civilizations, some of which are dead by now. And by the way, finding evidence uh, for dead civilizations is as interesting, I call it space archaeology, uh, because it can teach us a lesson to take our, get our act together and behave better so that we don't have the same fate. You also said this. We'll put this on the screen. Alternatively, a more exotic scenario is that Oumuamua may be a fully operational probe sent intentionally to Earth vicinity by an alien civilization. Speak to that. That's a possibility uh, that um, probes are being sent to stellar systems to spy on um, what is going on in their inner uh, regions where life may exist. And, uh, uh, you know, it's quite uh, possible that we are looked at, that uh, someone knows about our existence. Um, this is a possibility. We need to explore that possibility, to have it on the table. And uh, all I'm saying is that we have now the technology to figure out whether we are uh, the smartest kid on the block. Uh, that will be the most interesting question. Maybe we can learn from them if we are not. Uh, but so far, we have been uh, just focusing down here on Earth on disputes among nations. Uh, uh, we should consider the possibility that we are not alone and uh, learn from other civilizations if they are out there.